Let's talk about ganglion wrist surgery. First, let's look at the locations of the cysts. The most common is on the, around the wrist or on the, on the top side or dorsal side, the bowler side as you can see here, out the tip of the digit near the nail bed, and at the base of the finger. So these are four common locations. But first, let's talk about the wrist, and the common, most common is on the dorsal side or top of the wrist. This, make no mistake about it, this is a large cyst here. They're not always this big. This li literally looks like a golf ball. But in other cases, these can fluctuate in size more with activity, as you can see, a, a, a large one on top that's uh, filled with fluid. With rest, this can actually drain into a smaller, less painful cyst. So they can fluctuate over time. Now, com commonly, the patient will come in with a several-year history of wrist pain, pain with activities such as pushing off, such as in yoga, such as push doing just simple push-ups, or just simply pushing off of a chair from a sitting position. What happens is the cyst is like a balloon in a hinge. When you push off, it, it gets in the hinge and causes discomfort. Now, an MRI is usually obtained to, to assess the situation. You can see this fluid-filled uh, cyst on the back of the wrist, right behind the bones of the wrist. And as you can see, when it goes back, it can cause this kind of balloon, balloon in a hinge phenomenon. Now, about 50% of cases that MRIs are obtained for a cyst the MRI doesn't pick it up because it's such, such a small cyst in many cases that it doesn't visualize on the cuts on the MRI. But we actually take the cyst out, send it to the lab, and they confirm it's a cyst. So a lot of people don't think the MRI is the end-all, be-all, but it doesn't always show the problem. But it's also worthwhile getting the MRI because frequently it'll show ligament or cartilage injuries that we didn't even know the patient had and can address at the same time. Now, if you look here, this is an animated picture of really what's going on. This is a sac coming out with a root right out of the main ligament in the wrist, usually call, uh, from between the scaphoid and the lunate bones, called the scapholunate ligament. We go in and we remove this cyst, cutting around the base of it, and take the cyst out, as you can see it's missing here. Now, let's take a look at an actual patient undergoing this procedure. You can see the wrist is bent, prominence in the left-hand side uh, denoting a cyst, and on the right-hand side you can see this gelatinous filled sac, fluid-filled sac that we go in and take out. Now, at the same time, we'll frequently stick an arthroscope, a two-millimeter scope, through that wound to look around. It's not uncommon to actually see a cartilage injury. So after this surgery, assuming it's just a simple cyst removal, we'll put the patient in a brace for about three to four days. The patient comes back for the initial post-operative uh, evaluation. We take the splint off, start you moving right away. Very few pain pills are even needed following this simple 15-minute procedure. So after, this, after we start... After you come back to the office, we start rehabbing you. It's about a six-week recovery, start to finish, before all the soreness dissipates and you're back to full activity. There's about a 5% recurrence rate. So taking the cyst out, 5% of the time, it can come back. For more on this condition and many other conditions, please visit the Hannah Wrist Institute website.